datascientist.net uh, helping uh, data scientists to come together and uh, share experiences and knowledge so that um, we can help others to and uh, will serve to inspire others to really organize, package and deliver information. And today here I'm at uh, University of Hong Kong and um, some nice blue skies and uh, working on a, actually work, working on a Asia lymphoma study that uh, is incorporating NCI uh, um, in the University of Hong Kong and some Australian um, research investigators. What I want to talk to you about today is economy and we are seeing a major shift in um, the amounts of data we're creating and um, which goes on to what we can actually do with that data and what we can do is be collaboration um, the internet and the technologies we have now enable us to um, really come together in ways we haven't been able to before and that leads us to the third point is that we're really able to get some big value out of the big data. So I'm just going to um, go through each one of these a little bit more detail and, um, and uh, identify what and the reasons why these uh, are available and, and how we might be able to take advantage of them. What sort of amounts of data are we talking about here? And I just was reading in uh, Popular Science magazine on my plane trip over that um, it's, it's in the zettabytes. And um, this term may not be uh, common knowledge of what we're talking about now, but um, well, last year it was 1.2 zettabytes. That's 2010. 2011, we're looking at 1.8 zettabytes of data stuff out there that we're dealing with. Now, to give you some sort of visualization of that, we talk, they refer to if all that data was put onto uh, 32 gigabit iPads, they would stack up a 18 meter wall that is uh, 6,500 kilometers long. So that is actually the distance I flew from Brisbane to Hong Kong in um, iPads stored with the amount of data that's in the world today. Or another, if you don't know Brisbane to Hong Kong, it's the same as going from one end of Australia to the other end and back. So that's really the size of and, and the amount of data we're talking about. The second point, I've got a little graph here. Um, what, what's happening is that we um, need to consider what's changing when we create this, these amounts of data. So the analysis is something you do in the past. The planning is something you do in the future. And because of the masses amount of data that we're seeing now, um, we have to rechange, change and rethink how we analyze and how we plan to manage. The third point is everything's constantly, constant changes. So it, we, because everything's so live now, you can go onto Wikipedia one day and uh, see your, what, we've, what is the definition of this and that, but then you go on the next day, it might be, have new information or it might be totally different. 
So it really is changing, this big data concept is really changing the concept of what we um, take as a fact and um, how dynamic that really is. So that gives you an, a, a bit of overview about what big data means. and uh, summarise it into three little dot points here as well. So number one is that, and this is based on the uh, connectivity of, of the internet, that anywhere in the world is practically next door now. So you can get on Skype, you can um, well, basically email or um, send any or interact with any other um, community or group via the internet. Uh, that's available today. What's causing and what's um, a repercussion of that is uh, what we're seeing in the research industry is that we start off with our research disciplines as um, pretty much isolated uh, islands, but because the data is just growing from those, so there's so many aspects and so many data, so we can look at this, we can look at that, we're getting overlaps um, of of uh, disciplines here, and it's allowing for more collaboration in cross-disciplinary research, and um, and it, the third point is that, that um, in terms of um, big collaboration, the, the technology advances as well. If um, in terms of engineering, we can actually just jump on a plane and and get uh, pretty much anywhere in the world within 24 hours. So the big collaborations, we've got the, um, the, the data growing, we've got the internet being connectivity, and if we do physically need to move around, we've got the technology that can do that as well. of the, why, are we, why are we even doing this and um, what's behind the big value is, is number one and um, the first uh, editorial report in this magazine Popular Science talks about like, information is everything literally and um, so because any particle or any subatomic um, matter actually needs a state given back in information for it to actually be registered as, as something. Number two is uh, a, a write up as a what if statement to sort of get our minds thinking about the value that's here. What if we all knew what the world knows? Okay. What if we all had access and knowledge of the world's technology. What if we all had shared goals and clearly defined value? And what if there were no borders? Now, there's nothing holding us back, really, from making these true. The internet essentially is giving us what the world knows. And along with that, instructions, freely available, accessible, on the knowledge to the latest technology. And we have the collaboration tools to share the goals and to define our values and really reduce the borders. So, um, that's my overview of the three reasons data science is here. And um, if you like this video and uh, you want to hear more, 
uh, put your name and email address on uh, and register for the newsletter, which is at datascientist.net. And um, I'll be sure to be yeah, doing, my goal is to do one video a month and, um, and uh, also develop up some training guides on how to actually um, take on a role of, of, of the data scientist or, or get in what's the first step towards it. It's all about um, at, the, at the fundamental levels. So in the beginning courses we're going to be talking about uh, the mindsets and frameworks that you need to or should adopt if you want to be a high performing data scientist. Uh, and in the later courses we'll get started into some of the tools and uh, data analytics and um, go through whatever is the need at the time and whatever we see is a hot topic and, um, and come together at datascientist.net to share our knowledge, share our experiences um, to help serve and inspire others in organising, uh, packaging and delivering information. Thank you.